welcome to Children's Chapel, a special edition with our guest, Evelyn, here in our very own sanctuary. We've entered our space. It's time to light our candle. And then we sing. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan put it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan put it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan put it out, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Very nice singing. I forgot we had some other special guests too. We have a kitty and a kangaroo and even one of our ugly dolls joining us for chapel this day. Maybe you have some stuffed animals you want to invite into chapel space today and maybe they'll be a part of your church this morning. Who knows? All right, let's do our prayer for illumination. We say, Dear Lord, give us eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts to understand your word. Amen. Thank you, Evelyn, for holding that sign. You want me to put it down? Yes. Okay. Well, today we're going to be reading a book about, do you remember what it's about? It's about sharing. It's about sharing. And our Bible has lots of stories on what it means to share. In the Old Testament, you have God speaking to God's people about sharing what they have, and God provides enough for everyone. And in our New Testament, which are the stories where Jesus is a part of them, we even have the story of Jesus taking a little boy's lunch. Have you heard that story, the loaves and fishes? And he takes a couple of fish and a couple of rolls and makes enough for everyone. It's a miracle of the feeding of the 5,000. I think it's really important for us to talk about sharing because I believe that is what God wants us to do. Now, Evelyn, I have a question. What? Do you think God just wants us to share just with people in our family? No. No, okay. Do you think God wants us to share just with people who look like us? No. No, okay. Do you have any questions for me about sharing? Uh, no. Okay. Do you think God wants us to share everything with everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I like to say all y'all. God likes us to share with all y'all. So this is a book, and it's a great book to think about, especially as we head into summertime. I know we're all out of school now. And this book is called Pie is for Sharing by Stephanie Parsley Ledyard, and Jason Chin does the illustrations. Let's read. You can see the first picture. Pie is for sharing. Oh, look at, they're at a picnic and they're eating watermelon. Can you see the dog in that picture? Oh, they're all petting it. I like that. It starts out whole and round. Then, look at the dog. He wants it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it, but the dog really wants to eat the pie. You can slice it into as many pieces as you wish. Let's see, he does one, two, three, four, five. Six. Uh oh. Almost. I wonder what's going to happen. A book is for sharing. A ball is nice for sharing too. And a tree? A tree is always shared. Have you been climbing any trees lately? Have you? Mm -mm. I'm not a big fan of climbing trees, but maybe you have a tree you like to climb. You shared a book though, didn't you? With mm -hmm. your sister? Yeah. Even when you think it is yours alone. Oh, this is a picture of a bird, a robin bird in its nest while the boy is in the tree. They're sharing it together. Other things for sharing. Can I read that? A jump rope. Your place in the middle. A rhyme. Ooh. Have you ever done jump rope rhymes? Like 
Cinderella. Oh, and time. Look it, they made a rhyme with time. A boat, a stream, your towel warmed by the sun. Oh, there's nothing better than a warm towel when you come out of the water all wet, right? We did that, came out of the water and it was cold and wet. Easy to share, cousins, sticks, stones from your park pocket. Hard to share, your best friend. Look at her best friend is the puppy dog and he's running to see all the other kids and the little girl's a little sad. If you are hurt, it helps to share a hug and some bandages and the story of what happened. Do you think she needed that many bandages? Look at how many she's got on her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has the whole box of band-aids on her. Mm -hmm. You see? <laughs> the mama's smiling. Hideouts and treasures. These are good to share. Do you see them hiding out? You can see everyone's walking away and they're hiding, looking at their treasures. Words and music are made for sharing. So are berries and the last piece of homemade bread. Okay, what are they singing into? Banana. <laughs> Do you think they're pretending they're microphones? The girls are performing, it looks like, and everyone's watching and eating berries. Even the crumbs. Many can share one light. Look at the puppy dog gets the crumbs of the bread and they're lighting their sparklers all together. And a blanket, a breeze, the sky, these are for sharing. But they're gathered by the water, watching the sparklers. Is that the end? Oh. Just like pie. And if you look real close, there's a whole other pie that they're sharing. Mm -hmm. When we think about what it means to share, is it always easy to share? No. No. Can you think of a time when it wasn't easy to share? Um, when, um, my, it was my, me or my sister's birthday, and we get something that the other persons want, and they're like, no, it's my birthday present. <laughs> oh, that is hard, especially when you really like that new present that they get, right? Mm -hmm. I remember doing that with your mom, who's my sister. And sometimes even as we get older, it's hard to share. It's hard to share our time, or it's even hard to share that last piece of cake or something delicious or last juice box. But we remember that God invited us to share. So let's see, if there was just one juice box left, what is a way we could maybe share it? Get some cups and pour it in. Get some cups and pour it in, okay? And even if we had one piece of pie, we could take it and cut it up into lots of little pieces. And even if we all just get a bite, that's good, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what? Sometimes people may not share with you. And we have to respect that, right? Because that's their decision. Mm -hmm. But we can always pray that they would think about others, that we would think about others, and we would be encouraged to share. So let's pray. We say, Dear God. Dear God. We love you. We love you. We thank you. We thank you. That you share your love. That you share your love. With all of us. With all of us. May we share your love. May we share your love. With all the world. With all the world. And all God's children say. Amen. Amen. All right, friends. I hope you go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And remember that pie is for sharing. Bye and have a great week.